What's up guys, Skater Rampage here, so today we're going to be reviewing the newest Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop Wave as well as Vegeta with Cooking Apron Hot Topic Exclusive and we have a really cool giveaway in this video, so make sure you're watching. Alright, let's check them out. guys, so this is the newest wave of Dragon Ball Z Pops, including this Dragon Ball Super Pop um, Vegito with Cooking Apron, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. Now, I picked up all of these at Hot Topic on a recent Funko Pop hunt for buy two, get one free. So I got, I bought these four and then I got this one and another one free. And I'm just super excited that I was able to find these. So they're actually available on the Funko Shop a little bit earlier if you um, did order them on the Funko Shop. So you probably got them in a little bit early than, earlier than like GameStop or Hot Topic for once, which is really, really Really interesting because that normally never happens for commons because GameStop normally gets them even before Funko puts them out on their shop um, as well as like Hot Topic and various other places so I'm super excited so we have the new Gohan new Super Saiyan Goku first appearance we also have the new Majin Vegeta and Majin Buu evil and then like I said Vegeta with cooking apron now I'm okay we got, we got to talk about this. I need an intervention because someone said, everybody was telling me that I kept saying super way too much in a video. And then I had somebody actually pointed out and counted to me and I was, it was funny, but it's like someone count down below how many times I say super on accident. I promise I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just, I am actually super excited because I'm just excited about Dragon Ball Z characters in general. So I'm going to try my best not to say, you know, but we will see. Anyways. So before we get into the review, um, I don't want to talk too much before we get into it, but um, this Gohan is actually going to be for a giveaway, and uh, the reason is it was kind of a spur of the moment giveaway because I, uh, see what happened was I had my Hot Topic bag, and then I picked the wrong bag up thinking it was a big trash bag because I use these bags for trash bags when I'm cleaning up my room, and I threw it in the trash, and then I started shoving it in the trash because it wouldn't fit, and I was shoving it, and I was like, wait, there's a, there's a Funko Pop in there. I was like, oh no, it's my new Funko Pops that I need to review. And uh, yeah, basically I try to throw away the Funko Pops on accident. So it got a little damaged in the wreckage, but it's not too bad damage. So I figured if somebody, you know, somebody who doesn't have a Gohan because, you know, I'm, I don't care about box damage too much, but I, I, I kind of messed this one up. So it's not crazy bad, but, uh, and I'll even sign it for you. And I am including two of my stickers, Karen Rampage and the No Food War stickers with it. So stay tuned in the video for this giveaway. Um, and I will just, I will, I will tell you how to do that later. Anyways, let's jump into the review. Let's see what's going on. All right. So before we get into the new wave, I actually want to do the, um, let's do the new Vegeta with cooking apron, uh, just because it's like different from that wave. And I don't want to, I don't want to dive into one wave and then, you know, get to this one later. So a lot of people are actually excited about this pop and a lot of people are not excited about this pop. Um, and the reason being is because one, it's another Vegeta. Why am I so bad at this in general? <laughs> Why am I so bad at Funko Pop reviews? Why can't you just stay? What did I do to you? Anyways, like I was saying is one thing why people don't like it is it's a new Vegeta. And then another thing is that, you know, it's a silly variant. It's nothing too crazy new. Yes, it's a funny looking pop or and it's a funny moment in Super where he was trying to make breakfast or food for Whis, and uh, he just, you know, he was too strong to crack the eggs and he started going everywhere, and then one ended up being a baby chick, but still, it's just kind of like, you know, it's another Vegeta, and we could have gotten at least Super Saiyan God Vegeta, or maybe Broly from the new movie, um, we could have gotten a new Frieza, like, there, there's just so many other pops we could have gotten, Vados, uh, some of the other Gods of Destruction, I don't know. There's just, you know, there's some, we could have gotten so many other characters and we got this one. Now, I'm not saying I don't mind this pop. I think it's funny. I think it's unique and definitely um, one of the, you know, funnier moments from the show. And there are plenty of funnier moments they can capitalize off of and make pops into. But can we get to those later and get actual new characters like Kefla and, you know, just there's tone. We could get the, you know, uh, Topo, uh, Dispo, like there's just so many other characters. Anyways. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty funny pop with the pink apron. It's ironic that he's actually wearing a pink apron because he hates, uh, you know, pink. And then in the original Z, um, he actually, uh, wore that pink shirt during the, um, Android slash Cell Saga situation. I don't really know what to call that one. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool pop. I really do like this one. And, uh, if you pick this one up, let me know down below. And what are your thoughts on it? Does he stand? 
He doesn't have a base stand. He kind of stands pretty well, but I think he can fall over kind of easy. All right, so we're going to try to leave him standing, but I don't know if he's going to stand. Stay. <clears throat> All right, so let's move on to the next wave, or the new wave, excuse me. So we have... I, I kind of want to do Majin Buu Evil because I have been waiting for this one for a while now, and I'm su I'm not super excited. I'm moderately excited about Majin Buu Evil here because, for those who don't know, the Buu arc is actually, or Buu Saga, is my favorite saga in Dragon Ball Z, and it, it's just amazing. It really is. I feel like it is the best saga out of all of them. I mean, I'm not knocking Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, um, you know, in the Cell Saga. Let me show you guys that first, but... I do love the Buu Saga just because, for one main reason, is that Goku goes Super Saiyan 3. And while he doesn't use Super Saiyan 3 too much, other than fighting Majin Buu a little bit and then Kid Buu, you know, a majority of that fight, I really wish they would have, you know, used that form more because that is my favorite form. Um, he did use it in the, um, I forget the movie, but the, you know, the Janemba movie uh, with Gogeta. I forget the actual name of it, but anyways. This is a solid looking pop. I wish he had a mouth though, because he kind of looks weird with no mouth. It looks weird. He kind of has like a Voldemort face going. I don't know what that's about, but it's a pretty cool one. So this, this basically, this character, for anybody who doesn't know, it's essentially the bad parts of Majin Buu that kind of came out. It's a good amount of Majin Buu's power. I believe that's kind of how that works. It's been a while since I've, you know, seen the Buu arc. Um, but yeah, basically, this is all the bad that came out of uh, Majin Buu, the fat Buu, and then, you know, eventually turned into Super Buu, and then eventually turned into Kid Buu, and, you know, all the other transformation things, like yada, yada, yada. But yeah, this is this is a pretty cool looking pop. Great, great addition to the Buu set. So now we have Kid Buu, Majin Buu, Chocolate Buu, Majin Buu with Lollipop and um, Chocolate. As well as we do have the new, you know, Kid Boo in this wave as well with the Kamehameha wave and then a glow chase of that. So we have a few Boos, but I feel like we definitely need Super Boo and we also need Super Boo Gohan absorbed and Go Tanks absorbed. So um, hopefully we get those, you know, variants in the future because I would not mind that. I would definitely collect them all. But yeah, there is Majin Boo evil there. So all the evil portions of Boo all in one pot. So there is another one. Now, we also have the new Majin Vegeta. Now, this one is really awesome because it's an affordable Majin Vegeta at about, you know, $10 to $12, wherever you order it from, um, versus the original Majin Vegeta that was an over 9,000 exclusive. Now, that over 9,000 exclusive sticker is awesome, but, like I said, this one's a little bit more affordable, even though I know a couple places were selling um, Majin Vegeta for a little cheaper during Black Friday. Still, though, those were like $30 to $40, and this is a $10 to $12 comic and it's better. And he's doing final explosion. So, you know, um, but anyways, yes, this is beautiful. Did they, they did not actually I think they use the same head. Let me actually grab it for you guys so I can compare it. Um, uh, no, they did not. Did they? No, they didn't. I think this is a new head actually. And I really like that they did that. Really like that they went all out. So I actually do have Majin Dita, um, signed by Chris Sabat. Um, I actually got mine signed in person at the actual con. Did I get it signed in person, or did I actually buy the pop signed? I can't remember. Anyways, the, I bought it in person. I met Chris at it. I also got a poster signed by him, um, a My Hero Academia poster for my brother for his birthday. I stood in line, fun fact, I stood in line for two and a half hours to get that Majin Vegeta pop and that poster, mainly that poster signed for my brother. They just happened to have the Majin Vegeta there, and I was like, don't mind if I do. Anyways, so... Here is the original Majin Vegeta. I actually did an unboxing on this if you guys actually want to see like a more in-depth review. But yes, so that's the original one. Very, very bare, like no rips on his, you know, battle suit. And uh, just, you know, not too much blood on the face and not too much, you know, blood on the fists and things like that. But in the new one, he actually has his ripped up battle suit, damaged battle suit, whatever you want to call it. Um, ripped up around his leg, ripped up around his chest and his other thigh, and then he has the scrapes and blood wounds all over from, you know, fighting Boo. This one's so much better than the original. God, it's so much better, because he has final explosion around him, he's doing the signature little fist there, and then he does his, like, emotional speech right there, which is awesome. Alright guys, so two down, two to go, so next up we do have Super Saiyan Gohan here. 
I'm so excited about this one. I love that they decided to do a Super Saiyan kind of like, even though he's technically teen, I call him adult Gohan. Um, he's still technically a teen here as per Saiyan years. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. If I have that slightly wrong, let me know, but I'm pretty sure I'm fairly accurate there, at least, I think. <laughs> but anyways, this is the actual new Gohan. I don't know if I showed you the box. Yeah, that is the new Gohan there, um, and that's so awesome. God, he's so beautiful. Look at that. I love the uniform, too. I think that's so awesome, too, that they went with this one. There we go. I believe this is the Great Salmon uniform. And then when he kind of went Super Saiyan, he, he goes Super Saiyan kind of very at various times randomly while he's wearing that. I believe this is a Super uh, Super Saiyan, or the Great Saiyan, excuse me. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Kind of like when he was... Uh, he was just going around the city saving people. I believe so. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to look that up. I just thought it was a different color for some reason. But that belt, yeah, I think that belt was defining right there. Anyways, this is a solid Gohan pop. Definitely very different than, you know, we're used to. What I'm curious, did they use the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan head mold? Did they? No, 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 no. It's a little different. It's like a little bit different, but it almost looks the same. But yeah, um, pretty good paint job. Oh, I want to say pretty great paint job on all of these, by the way. Like, Funko's quality control on these Dragon Ball Z Pops, fantastic. At least for the ones that I got, because I'm super... I, I, I just love them so much, as you guys can see. I'm trying not to say that word. Um, but yeah, it looks great. So guys, if you want a chance at winning this new Gohan Pop, here's your chance now, so make sure to be listening. So, basically, all you have to do is leave a like down below on the video, as well as comment... Hashtag sell sucks, all right? Because he does, and we destroyed him. Me and my boy Gohan destroyed him when we were, you know, a little bit younger. But yes, hashtag sell sucks. Like the video and leave your um, leave your leave your Instagram so I can contact you. <laughs> yes, hashtag sell sucks. Leave your Instagram and like the video. That's all you have to do um, to be able to get entered to win this um this Gohan pop and uh, I'll pick a winner and then announce it on Instagram. So make sure to be following me on Instagram and paying attention. It's just Skittle Rampage. Anyways, that was a super awesome Gohan to, um, to review. So now we're going to review the final pop and I saved this one for last because this is my favorite. I love Maj Vegeta. Don't get me wrong. He looks great. And Majin Buu Evil is awesome as well. But this is first appearance Goku we're talking about. First appearance Super Saiyan Goku. I had to save this one for last. So I actually decided not to get Shenron in this set, by the way, for anybody wondering. The Tenet Shenron, it was just too much. Like, pop-wise, it was just too much. And uh, I didn't really like it as much as you know I thought I would. I have the original 6-inch Shenron back there, as well as Purunga, so I didn't really need any more Wish Grant and Dragons. Let me get this open. What's going on here? Come on. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's take him out of box. Let's see what's going on with him. I've seen it out of box, but... I I don't, I don't judge it by pictures anymore. I gotta see it in person. Oh, and he's beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. I can't wait till we get that final form Frieza. So it looks like next year we're gonna be getting the final form Max Power Frieza as well as the Kid Vegeta. That's that's what it's looking like next year in like around March, April-ish. That's when we'll get those, I think at least, or maybe we could get them earlier. Um, right off the bat, I'm not a big fan of the hair because it's like slightly two different colors. Like, I'm not an overall big fan. Like, comparing it to other Super Saiyan Gokus, like, I th I guess this hair is good because, you know, it's first appearance, so I guess so. Um, overall, just not a really big fan of the hair, but it works for him. So, so I can't really complain that it works for him. I like the eyes, too. I think they look great. I love the battle-torn gi, um, the ripped-up pants, ripped-up shirt, and then the Super Saiyan aura around him. It's, it's amazing. It really, really is. I love this pop. Like I said, the hair is just a little weird. Like, let me know down below. What do you guys think about the hair? Do you guys, did you, did you guys like the hair? Do you think it's a little molded? Maybe it's just molded slightly weird, and that's what's throwing me off. But it does kind of look like two different colors. I think that's what's bothering me. But yeah, this is a solid looking pop. I do like this one. Like I said, I love when they use the base stand and kind of energy or aura of a character to be able to turn it into a base stand. I think that's awesome. Um, and yeah, I, get, I think it's just the molding that's bothering me. Overall, I love it. It's first appearance Goku. We definitely needed this pop. This is so much better than the original Super Saiyan pop. Like, it's so much better. It's, oh my god. I love, trust me, I love the fight between Frieza and Goku. 
obviously I love the Boo, uh, Majin Buu saga more. I love that fight. It's one of the longest fights ever, though. I will tell you. I think they did it, like, I think they timed it. It's like a four-hour fight or something crazy. Um, but, yeah. Solid pop and definitely one of my favorites in the set. I'll give you guys one more look at it. Definitely a favorite in the set. So, this was the new Dragon Ball wave that Majin Buu just took a dive from. So this was the new Dragon Ball wave. Let me know down below um, which one out of all of them did you like the most. And uh, I think I'm really going to like that Frieza. I won't lie. I think I'm really going to like that one. Um, but like I said, you guys can get Gohan um, as a giveaway um, if you guys would like. And the Carrot Rampage and No Food Wars sticker included in that. All you have to do is comment hashtag sell sucks. Like the video and list your Instagram down below so I can contact you. But yeah, that's uh, for the most part, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. I really enjoyed doing this and we reviewed, you know, five new Dragon Ball Pops. I do have the, um, the new... Um, I do have the new Gara Metallic exclusive, if you guys would like to see a review on that. I, I was just deciding not to, because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. We'll see. But anyways, let me know down below, what are your thoughts on this new Dragon Ball wave? Did you guys pick up any? Are you guys going to pick up any? Are you waiting for sales? Let me know. And where did you guys pick them up from? Because I picked mine up from Hot Topic, but they are available pr pretty much everywhere, for the most part. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys make videos like this happen and a ton of other videos on the channel happen. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. It is truly appreciated. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. A lot of cool perks included with that and I'd love to have you there. Also, make sure to join the Facebook group and Discord. They're great communities, buy, sell, and trade and you can make a ton of friends as well as make sure to be following my social medias, Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.